Yo, 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 what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Madden Subscriber League. Today, we're going to be focused on the Pittsburgh Steelers, as four subscribers will be playing on the team, which is going to be Turmoil Gaming, Luke Crown, Galactic Coin Kala, and Carlos Boozer. So Carlos Boozer is now a 70 overall, which is pretty good. Turmoil is now a 76 overall, so he's in the green now. And Luke Crown's doing good, and Galactic is really improving right now. Also, I want to say, it's never too late to join the series. As, if we look at our at our players, we actually added some new people. We got the star QB, Tommy Nigo. He's from the College of Seattle. And um, he seems to be another quarterback that's uh, challenging Psycho to be who will be picked in the first round. Right now, this QB draft class, even though there's only two subscribers in here right now, uh, it, it's looking pretty fresh, though. Alright, another one we have to feature is Mike Hunt. Okay? And he is from the College of Penn State, and, yeah, he seems to be a pretty good wide receiver. And hopefully, alright, hopefully he has a good future. And before we really get into the match, let's get... I wanna I wanna see the standings real quick and see how is everyone doing on week fourteen. Like the week's almost over. The Jets are about to make the playoffs. But I mean the Jets made the playoffs. The Lions, Marshall Mendez is a subscriber on there. That's the highest rated that's the highest rated team in the franchise mode right now that a subscriber is on. Number seven in the whole league. That's pretty uh, I was expecting other subscribers to join, but then you got the Pittsburgh Steelers who are in the playoff race who's even though the Browns are number six They're looking to take a wild card spot if they keep up this performance So yeah, that's pretty good for turmoil gaming and the rest of the cast on the Steelers Next up we got three teams in a row. We got the Saints which has Mr. Sal Volcano the Raiders which has Mr. Nicholas Rizon and the Bears, which have Godified Kev, and then we got the Dolphins, which uh, mocks on, and so and he, it's the worst team. It's one of the worst teams as they got three to nine. But a, eh. I, I want to get into the game, which is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Tampa Bay Bucks. As now, let's get into it. All right, this is the part where I usually be playing, but usually when I play, I get really mad. And I really don't want that to happen, so I'm just gonna be stay as calm as possible. And whatever happens, happens. They're gonna run the ball. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. They they gain a couple. They gain many yards from that. They're gonna run it again. That's fine. They get the first down. That's that's pretty fine. That's all right. I'm fine with that. And they're gonna run it again, which I'm fine with. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie though. Well, the running back pretty fresh though. You pretty fresh though. Not gonna lie. Now we're gonna see turmoil. They're gonna run it again. That's that. That's all right. All right. All right. Guess we showing off the offensive line. All right, who can't block crap? But all right, we're gonna see what. Oh, they're gonna pass it. Passes it. Oh man, Lou Crown with eight yards, third and in inches, third and in inches. All right, what are they gonna do? They're gonna run it. What are they? Fourth and in inches. What? But I thought I said 30 inches. You know what? Okay. 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 Alright. I see where you, I see what's happening. Okay, so there seems to be a little glitch. So he passed the ball actually. But this time, what they decide but it's 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 the play after the they punted it. It's so weird. Madden did a weird glitch, so now we're back on the same drive. And I bet you a thousand dollars they are gonna run the ball. He is not gonna lie, the running back kind of fresh. Look at that. All right, I'll make a deal. Like if they run again, I'll just play as turmoil. Cause 
as much as y'all like seeing the running back, we, 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 we came here to see, we came here to see Turmoil and his friends. And that's another run, but that didn't quite work out as planned, as they gained nothing. That's why I'm gonna come in. Okay, and Turmoil Gaming. Blue Crown! That's not a touchdown, but they're close. They're close. They're close, though. They're close. they close. Not gonna lie, they're kinda close, though. That's a touchdown from Turmoil Gaming. Look at that, man. That's a nice touchdown from Turmoil as that's six to zero Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, Turmoil has always been a pretty good quarterback. He was selected in, in er, very early in the second round from the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I gotta say, I think they did a pretty solid pick. I think Turmoil will be a solid QB for the Pittsburgh Steelers for maybe five years. So, yeah, that's my prediction. He might be the next Tommy Maddox or whatever his name was who played from, like, 02 to 04. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. So we're back, and after that unfortunate event, um, we are now back. Turmoil gets sacked. He couldn't find the right time to throw it. This time, they're gonna run it! No, This is very bad. 3rd and 21? 3rd and 21? Oh my god, what is Terminal gonna do? Please don't tell me he's gonna get sacked again. He's about to get sacked again! Never mind, that worked! That worked! Oh my god, I thought he was gonna get sacked. Oh, damn. Oh damn, I thought he was gonna sack. Luckily they went from all the way from the 10 yard line to now the 50 yard line. That's that's pretty good improvement, not gonna lie. And they're gonna run the ball, which I'm personally fine with that. I don't mind. Now right now the running back's actually doing pretty good right now. But that's the end of the third quarter. The score is 14 to 7 right now. Termon is going to throw the ball. Throws it. That's pretty good. That was to Luke Crown. Right now. Oh, they're gonna throw a check down to Luke Crown. Ooh, that's gonna backfire badly. You see that Luke Crown was running backwards. He was running backwards. Where was he running to? They're gonna run the ball though. That seems to be pretty good advantage. Uh, we're gonna skip this moment. Okay, thank God I did not skip that because that would have been very annoying. Here it comes. Are they seriously running it? Are they running it? Oh my god. No, I'm going in. What? What? When did they punted it? When did they punted it? When? Fuck it. When did they punt it? I literally never saw them punt it at all. They threw an 81 yard touchdown? Did you see what I just saw? Did you just see what I just saw? What? Oh my god. No way. Are the Steelers gonna blow it? Alright, he passed to the loot crown for 12 yards. But y'all just saw what I saw. They just threw an 82 yard touchdown. And they're gonna run it. But hey, that was pretty good advantage. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It's pretty good. Easy work. It's easy work. It's 
Remember, they're gonna run it again. Oh, da oh damn. He's actually going though. All right, two minute warning. The Steelers got two minutes to break the tie and win the game. Look at it. 56. Mike, 56. Right there, right there. 56. Break, break. All right, we're going to see break, break. how Mr. Turmoil Gaming does. He's going to pass. What was Luke Crown doing? Why wasn't he trying to get the ball? Damn, like, what was he doing? Turmoil game is gonna run the ball, chuck stat out of there. Oh no, that failed. That failed. Oh no. Don't tell me what I think they're gonna do. Alright, they're not gonna punt it yet, nor to a field goal. They're gonna chuck that thing again. They're gonna chuck it. No! No! He dropped the ball. Even if he did caught that, that would have been a fourth down. How did... What? I can't... I can't do stuff on the fourth down again? What? How did... The game's on the line here. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, damn. Steelers defense playing kind of, kind of fresh, though. Yes, they're going to punt it. They're going to punt it. Let's go. They're gonna punt it, and they did not return for anything. We're just gonna slowly watch the game. They're gonna slowly watch it. And remember, if they get a safety right here, it's all over. Just saying. Chuck the ball. Oh, catch! He drops it, no! No way he dropped it. No way did he drop it. He dropped it, no way. No way. Chuck that, chuck that. Chuck that. Okay, he had to get that out of there. If he would have been sacked right there, the game would have been called right there. No joke. Because the safeties were two points, so. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Steelers. What, what are you doing? You running the ball? No way. They're using a timeout. Don't tell me they're going to punt the ball. Don't tell me they're going to. They're going to punt it? They're going to punt it? There's. Okay, I shouldn't be mad though. It's 14 to 14. There's a tie. We're go overtime is fine. Overtime is fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So another crazy thing happened. Um, Madden's doing the glitch again, and now we're back in the Steelers again. Luke Crown though, amazing catch. It's pretty good. They're gonna do a no huddle and they're gonna also call a timeout just to save themselves some time Because you know they, All they need is a field goal or a touchdown in order to actually win the game, but hey tying and going to overtime is fine, but But remember uh, sh He dropped the ball again. That's not good. Come on all they need Listen 25 seconds left going to overtime is perfectly fine It's perfectly fine Turmoil just needs to throw the ball. Luckily, he luckily the person caught that. Oh no, 10 second runoff. They're gonna need to chuck the ball. They're gonna need to chuck the ball. They're gonna need to chuck the ball. What are you doing? We're going into overtime. That's overtime. Quarter end. It's now or never. Whoever scores a touchdown, whoever scores any points, they automatically win the game. It's NFL rules. All right. All right, turmoil, turmoil, Queen Kala, Luke Crown, and you know who. They need a, they need, they need a touchdown to score to win the game. Why, why isn't anything happening? What the hell is happening? What is happening? Oh, okay. Fun fact about recording this: when it went into overtime, my game froze. But luckily, Madden has a feature where it saves your franchise's game. So therefore, we are back into this. Um, he actually went into this. P Bucks were about to win, but luckily the Steelers got a lucky interception. So, congrats on them. Alright, I feel like just me playing... Okay. That's fine. Third and 12, that's actually not fine. That's not fine for Pittsburgh. And I do not trust myself playing the whole game. Actually, slow. Play key moments. 
Overtime alert, we need to score. Don't care. Actually, no, I do care for the Steelers, though. But, of course, Pittsburgh needs a win. You know what I mean? Turmoil needs to find a way to chuck that ball. That's not how you do that. Unfortunately, they got no other choice. They have to punt the ball. Fourth and seven. That's too long. It's too long. Punt the ball. As there he goes. It's going. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Okay, so we're back, and Tampa, again, refuses to score a touchdown. Remember, NFL rules, if you do not score a touchdown at the tie when it's in overtime, then then it's automatically a tie. There we go, Koinka! Koinka! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Koinkala! Huge gain of yards! That was so incredible! That was incredible! Oh my god, I'm I'm so Oh my god That was amazing That was amazing Oh my god Queen Ka had he had he actually done yeah. Queen Ka with the amazing catch again He's carrying this whole team on its back Oh my god All Pitt Pittsburgh they do not need an interception if they can, this is it. This is how they're gonna win the game. This is it. Field goal kicked. Pittsburgh wins the game. There it is. Pittsburgh, they won the game in amazing faction. They were not gonna risk any interceptions or anything. So they're just gonna end it within a field goal. Of course, that's an anticlimactic way to end the game, but you you have to get stuff done. You have to win. Remember, any win counts. When you're a wild card team like the Pittsburgh Steelers right now, every win counts. Pittsburgh is better at the school at passing yards and rushing yards and takeaways. But but the Bucks have more averages for plays. But the but luckily the one interception from the Steelers actually came during the actually came during it actually came during the overtime. So yeah, the Bucks are leaving disappointments as they do not win against the Pittsburgh Steelers. As Turmoil has 64% completion rateage. And let's see the player stats right now. Turmoil Gaming with a completion of 25 and 39 attempts. But 309 yards and got two touchdowns. That's pretty good. That's good good. I like that. Alright, right. Luke Crown though, 8 receptions, 66 yards, and 1 touchdown. Quincala got 0 touchdowns unfortunately, but he got 129 yards though. So yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, I gotta give credits where credit's due to Mr. Galactic Quincala right there. So yeah, congratulations Quincala. You gained our team to win, to win with the field goal. So yeah. Alright, before we close off, I want to say, alright, I thought, it, I th even though most of y'all don't care, I thought it'd be fun worth sharing. It says, the air co the cards bid farewell to their old home. Now, now this can either mean two things. One, the cards are being relocated, and they're going to have a brand new identity and all that fun stuff, like what happens to Madden. Or two, they're just giving a new stadium, but I thought that'd be pretty fun to share. Anyway, after that Browns wins... Um, actually, <laughs> oh, the Jags made the playoffs. Ooh, okay. The Steelers are now tied with the Browns. Like, if we can see in the AFC North, the Browns and Steelers are tied of who's the best in the league. So whoever wins this division between the Browns and Steelers, then that means they'll be winning the division and they'll be having a bye. And they'll have, like, a bye in the wild card. So, yeah. That's, I thought that would be pretty fun to share. Also, if you look at the Bucks, they have fallen significantly. If they got this one win, they would have tied with the Saints of being, well, number two in the division. But looks like after this pretty significant loss, it looks like they'll not be making the playoffs this year, which that sucks. And, like, all the other teams, though, I mean, the 
the Lions are actually doing pretty good. Number four, that's where that's where Mendez is. There's the Steelers. That's where well four people are in. Um, who else? The Raiders are doing pretty good. Okay. The Saints, they're all right. The Titans, where are the Titans? They gotta be around here somewhere. There's Chicago. What happened? It's all because Godify Kev was out. That's why. Jeez, but where are the Titans though? Oh, they're number 19. Which, if we look in the AFC South, the Titans, they are not going to make the playoffs. I'm sorry, but the Jags are too good. And since the rest, of the, how the rest of the division is, I think Change Home's team will not make the playoffs. Anyway, that's just my final closing thoughts for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next week as we take on the Detroit Lions. Bye-bye.